What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II and the new map pack preview we got for DLC 1, Resistance. I'm going to be focusing a lot of this video around how you can get armory credits. I feel it's something that if you're new to zombies, you might not know. So drop a like on this video if you go on to learn something. And subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you're new. And if anything here, anything at all, sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter. Acra is violent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. Now, your orders is a big place. There is two orders specifically that resets, I believe, every 12 hours. It's a little funky and it works kind of weird as you log in. But what I'm trying to go for is the winter collections. And some of the weapons that I got to get cost a lot of armory credit, so I feel like it's pretty valuable information if you want to get these winter weapons before Winter Siege is over you need to get armory credits, so there's simple ways of getting it. We'll talk about that, but we gotta talk about how Call of Duty's trying to call training kiting. What? What? Let's go fly a kite. Kiting is probably the most valuable skill you will need to master to be successful in Nazi zombies. So what the hell is kiting? Well, see how this guy is dragging a mob of zombies behind him? Kind of like, like a kite? Anyway, it's called kiting. Fuck rolling in. No, okay, no. Sledgehammer, no. Alright? You're not gonna come in here out of nowhere and try and change the word training to kiting. Yes, during World at War, it was originally called kiting thanks to Treyarch, but that was changed very quickly. Syndicate came onto the scene, called it training, and ever since then, it was popular and known as training. So why would you change it back to kiting? No! Alright, no. You know this reminds me of? It reminds me of Madden, like he's drawing it out like a football play. Why don't we have theater mode? I really want theater mode. There's good news, okay, we're gonna talk about supply drops and getting duplicates. That is another way, absolutely, that you can get armory credits. If you don't know much about duplicates, I went into a full conversation about that. It'll be the top link in the description box below. Be sure to check that out, I just covered that in a video. But I mean, if you're one of those players that you just come here to play zombies and nothing else, you don't play any multiplayer, you just move to a whole nother game, like Destiny 2, I just want to let you guys know where you can make armory credits and stack up every single day because that's the only way you're going to be able to buy stuff in your collections. I know it's only epics, I think it needs to be addressed that heroics need to be available as well in the collections. I have a problem with that, but over here at Major Howard is where you'll collect your orders. The mail is a good place as well, every four hours you can come here and collect a payroll of 100 armory credits. This does stack up over time in addition to the 600 that you can earn in your orders that we just talked about. 300 in each order. There's always two there that you can always get armory credits for. So just note that and here you can always come back and collect. It's on the same timer, the four hour timer there. It's not much but if you add that with your daily login bonus, it really pops. When fog rolls in. So even if you log off the internal clock in your PS4 or Xbox One will reset every four hours so this is always a way you could come back and for sure secure a hundred armory credits now i do this all the time and i highly recommend you do too one thing that's been really bugging me about the winter siege event is in your contracts there is one specifically that you can purchase for a winter bribe and this i believe should be reset but it's not resetting and it's been two days for me i contacted activision assist they said thanks for the info i'm gonna get this looked into so that's the latest information I have on it. I reported it. I don't know if anybody else has, but this is some bullshizzle, and I really want that to be fixed. There's one of those armory credit orders specifically that's really difficult. This one here is I had to get two gridiron plays back to back and uh, in the same game, and that's really difficult. I mean, I got so lucky trying to pull this off, I don't even know how someone's going to pull two off in one game. So. That's a ridiculous order in my opinion. I don't know why that's there, but uh, I dread that one every time. But let's talk about this new DLC preview trailer that we got for Resistance. The map's gonna be called The Darkest Shore, and perhaps the most notorious meme of them all has returning. The fog is rolling in. Who would have thought that that was a good idea? I mean, are we going back to the Zetsubu days of Black Ops 3? Are we going back to rave in the redwoods or I mean Shaolin Shuffle for some of you guys you had that feeling. Shaolin turned into a better map grinding later on but are we going back to transit? I mean that is the vibe that they're putting out saying that the fog is rolling in. Do they think that that's cool or catchy? 
for the zombies community? I, I beg to differ. I definitely don't mean to be pooping in your sack of potatoes, dude, but look at this. This is what's happening. We're getting dead memes for a preview of a map that's coming up for DLC 1. What this is saying to me, what this is speaking volume to, is that I should buy this as a separate download. I shouldn't buy this as a season pass. Is something gonna come along that's gonna be better than this game? Because the, this is not fulfilling what I want and need. I need weekly bounties. Daily bounties. They got me over here in the final Reich plowing the back 40 with these whistling zombies. Somewhat of a mid-tier boss zombie. And guess what? They're returning. We didn't want this to return. But guess what? It's happening. I don't know about the Brenner coming back with the flamethrower. They said they got something bigger, better. Look, like we got Smiley coming back from IW Zombies. Shout out to Raven the Redwoods. That was the Easter egg reward that we got for beating it. You didn't get to keep it like the Shaolin Shuffle Sword Katana, but you did get to keep it after you beat the Easter egg. So it was a reward for beating it. Now, they're teasing it already as the Wonder Weapon, so I'm just going to assume already that the chainsaw is the wonder weapon. What do you guys think of that? Four different chainsaws? Are they going to have some sort of abilities each? Are we going to be able to saw people with electricity? Saw people with fire? Do you guys think that's cool? I'll tell you what, it'll be cool if it's got infinite ammo. If it doesn't have infinite ammo, I'm not sold, okay? I'm not sold on the wonder weapon at all because a chainsaw could keep going and going and going, especially using Tesla energy, you should be able to generate enough with the jolts to keep that train rolling. So theoretically, making infinite ammo for the chainsaws would be a good option for a wonder weapon. Go that route and I'll be impressed. But we can't just be blind to the fact of the matter that's really happening here. Every single DLC that we get, we get one zombies experience. But there's nothing generating an everlasting experience for that map to be thrown into. So what happens is we have basically a setup where we can just select a map and play it. There's nothing live that's going on throughout the entire season pass that's happening and churning the engine and these maps are being tossed into that mayhem in order to make it better. That's not what's rolling right now. We just have a very minimal setting of just selecting a map, play the experience, it's over. So the only what's in it is in it. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. You know what I mean? Like Noah Jay's pushing for new game modes. I think that's definitely something everybody has in the pit of their stomach. We got it at the very end of IW Zombies, and the fact that we don't have daily and weekly bounties being pushed forward at launch is a problem because it's not progression. We're being stalled back at a point where the developers catching up to where past developers have already set a new standard. So this is where we're at. This is what we're living. This is what we're going through. With Infinite Warfare Zombies, things got better during DLC 4 and the Halloween event leading in to World War II Zombies. We had Lee Ross. He was a great creative director for Infinity Ward. He would reply to people all the time, and now we've come to a new creative director, which is Cameron Dayton, who's tweeting about how things aren't meeting expectations. This is in reference to the new Star Wars movie, but the subtle text behind it is also World War II zombies because that's what he's in charge of. So there are subliminal messages being sent and as zombies, Easter egg hunters, this is how we take it. You can't just beat around the bush when it comes to these things. So the fact that it's the onion, the most unreliable source on the internet, I'm not sure what we're dealing with here. But let's have a listen one more time in this DLC one trailer about when he said the fog is rolling in. What? We wanted to play with this idea of what happens when fog rolls in. You can't see them until they're five feet away from you. So the first thing that comes to my head is great. Now thumbnails are gonna be dark as hell. We're gonna need a lot more lighting. We're gonna have to go down into this area underground where there's that chamber. That's maybe where we'll get some lighting for some good thumbnails, but it's gonna be dark again. It's gonna be foggy and it looks like there's fog in this area which is chamber-like, so I'm not sure how much fog we're talking about and whether that's a good thing or not. In the past, it hasn't been a good thing. And this is bad because DLC 1 is supposed to be the landmarker. For Black Ops 3, we had Drys and Drac, and that set a whole new standard for DLC 1, and it makes a big precedent for the overall success of the season pass for World War II Zombies. So we'll see. I'm going to buy this separately. I'm not going to purchase a season pass because I need to feel this out for myself and where we're going here because I want to support really good games, and Infinity Ward has my blessing, and so does Treyarch so far. I'm a little wary on this right now and uh, I'm gonna keep playing it and I, I really feel like we need weekly bounties and daily missions 
happening as soon as possible. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Violin out.